Good morning, Sioux City! You're watching Wit AM, your daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Jason Moeller. At a news conference yesterday, Governor Kim Reynolds says if current trends don't change, more restrictions will be put in place to prevent the spread of the virus and ease the health care surge. She says the number of patients hospitalized across the state has doubled since the start of the month. Earlier this week, Reynolds issued extra health measures, including requiring masks in all public and state buildings when people are within six feet of each other for 15 minutes or longer. However, the CDC acknowledges even brief exposure can lead to transmission. Reynolds admits it would be hard to legally enforce the restrictions. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley has confirmed he has tested positive for the coronavirus. The 87-year-old Grassley, a Republican from New Hartford, reported Tuesday that he was exposed to someone who had the virus and got tested. Grassley was in the U.S. Capitol Monday, acting as presiding officer of the Senate and delivering a speech on the Senate floor, but he has not revealed how he was exposed. Grassley says he is feeling fine and is working from home until his doctor says it's safe to return to work. The virus forced Grassley to miss his first Senate vote in 27 years Tuesday. Grassley had voted a record 8,927 consecutive votes in the Senate before being sidelined by the virus. Grassley is the oldest Republican serving in the Senate and is the Senate President pro tempore and third in line for the presidency behind the Vice President and the Speaker of the House. The U.S. is reporting the highest one-day death toll from the coronavirus since May. The COVID tracking project reports more than 1,500 deaths were reported Tuesday. There were also more than 155,000 new infections. The project also noted about 77,000 Americans are in the hospital because of the respiratory illness, with 20 states hitting records. The spike in cases has led some states to put in new restrictions to combat the spread. Pfizer's CEO says the company is ready to seek emergency authorization for their COVID vaccine. Albert Borla says the vaccine reached a key safety milestone and they're planning on submitting data to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. This comes after an analysis showed their vaccine to be 90% effective. But Borla says they still need to measure the durability of the vaccine. It's unclear at this time when they will file for emergency use authorization. When we come back, Riley Watson will take a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Nailed it. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. I work out every day. COVID won't kill me. I'm 24. COVID won't kill me. I have antibodies. COVID won't kill me. It's been a long week. COVID won't kill me. I'm 25. COVID won't kill me. I'm partying outside. COVID won't kill me. I don't need to wear a mask around my friends. COVID won't kill me. I'm 23. COVID won't kill me. If I haven't gotten it yet, COVID won't kill me. I'm young. COVID won't kill me. Famous last words. Don't let them be yours. Socially distance. Mask up, America. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Twitter has introduced its newest update, Fleets. Fleets are disappearing messages that go away after 24 hours. Similar to Instagram stories, the new feature will be available to all iPhone and Android users globally over the coming days. The company said that through their tests in Brazil, Italy, India, and South Korea, people with fleets talked more on Twitter. Fleets can be texts, reactions to tweets and photos or videos with background and text customization options. A Florida woman discover, discovery of what she thought was a human body is not going to inspire an episode of CSI. The woman was volunteering for a beach cleanup nonprofit when she found the figure on the sand in period key, but turns out it was a barnacle encrusted mannequin without a head. A picture of the mannequin makes it appear it had been in the water for some time. The nonprofit said the Facebook, on Facebook they were relieved it wasn't a real body. 
Taking a look at today's weather, today will be sunny with a high of near 66. It will also be windy today with wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 43. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high near 68 and a slight breeze in the afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.